Hello, Mr. Worst here. I'm going to build a circuit in Falstad.com, and you're going to build it along with me. Uh, you don't have to build it exactly when I'm building it, but this gives you a workflow of how you go about building it. Now, I'm going to be looking above you. That's because my building screen is right up here above my camera. So at Falstad.com slash circuit slash circuit JS, don't know what that means, dot HTML. Uh, if you just type that in, you'll get this screen right here. You're going to go circuits, blank circuit. That's going to give you a blank screen. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw in the voltage source. So that's under draw inputs and sources. We are going to add a two terminal voltage source. That's basically a battery. And I'm going to put two of these in. So two batteries in series with one another. And then I'm going to draw on some other components. So I'm going to draw uh, a wire. It's going to go up. We're basically copying the circuit schematic that are in some written directions. Uh, we may or may not post those written directions. So uh, I'm just, I'm going to, yeah, whatever. Pay no attention to what I just said. Okay, so I just drew in a resistor. So that was draw resistor. I'm going to draw on another piece of wire, section of wire down. I'm going to draw an, another resistor over. And you can change the resistance by clicking, double clicking on the resistor part. And we can change this. Uh, our schematic says it needs to be 330 ohms. I'm going to draw an LED. That's under outputs and labels. So I'm going to add an LED. An LED looks like this. It's a triangle with a flat line on the pointy end of the triangle. Um, but when you let go of the, the wire, it turns to like an open circle. Don't worry about that. That's not a big deal. And we're going to draw a capacitor. Capacitor is under passive components. And this lab is going to use a polarized capacitor. I always forget which direction to drag this. Oh, I did it the right way. Okay, so we want the curve side, that's the negative side of the polarized capacitor toward the bottom and the flat side up towards the top. We're gonna draw in some more wire here. So we're gonna connect the output of the LED to the negative side of the capacitor. And diverging from the directions here a little bit, I'm not gonna connect the negative side of the capacitor with the battery over on the left. Uh, directly. Instead, I'm going to put in a switch. A switch is under passive components, which is kind of strange because you think a switch is kind of an active thing. There's three different kinds of switches. You can use any kind. There's a regular switch, a push switch. I'm just going to use a regular switch. Draw over and look at that. It's a little crooked. That's okay. In fact, if you want to straighten it out, you can go like this. It looks like that's connected, but it's not. So what you got to do is to move things around, you can go uh, drag or select drag, and we gotta move that up. Okay, there we go. So circuit connected, and what you're gonna do is using under the draw function the select drag thing, and you can turn on and off the switch. That basically hooks up the battery or unhooks the battery. And what you're gonna do is you're going to um, change the values of your capacitor here. So double click on the capacitor itself. See, I was double clicking earlier just on the title and you could change this to like a thousand microfarads, which is equal to one microfarad. And it's going to make the circuit behave differently. Well, we may also have you change resistances. So this resistor is 330 ohms. We may have you change that to 10,000 ohms. So thousand is K. So 10 K is 10,000 ohms. Ohm, uh, and that's going to change the operation of the circuit. In fact, uh, that's huh. I'm going to rechange that. Changing to 10,000 makes it not fun for you. Okay, but you'll learn that later. All right, so um, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope uh, this comes through on your end. All right, see ya.